So I'm in Oaxaca and I just ran out of money. This is, a, this kind of like, this does happen a lot. Not always, but it happens sometimes. So there's several variables that I just have to keep in mind when this happens. First is like the housing. It just seems like the housing, the guy who rented me the house really wants me there. He gave me a really good deal. So it doesn't seem like that's my main priority, but because I'm in Puerto Escondido, Oaxaca, there, the water from the tap is not safe. So I, the main issue right now is I don't have enough water. I was hoping, I was hoping to get some, some money from Dan, the guy who sometimes gives me money, but allegedly he lost his credit card in Washington DC and he cannot transfer me money. So I've been asking a lot of people for money. A lot of them don't have money or just don't want to give me money, which is reasonable. It's their money, not my money. Um, so in order, to, so there's a couple of interviews I have coming up. One is a very well paid $10 an hour, like seven, yeah, $10 an hour position teaching English. So like $5 an hour teaching English. This is actually very, very good. Um, but I don't want to like be desperate because that way I will have a higher pay rate. So, and maybe another one as a surf instructor. So, <clears throat> you see those coconuts? So right now I'm down to just, I have no money left and I'm running out of water so I'm just drinking from the coconuts. Basically what you do is like you take the coconut, like this one, and you throw it into the, into this surface. And then you have a small hole in the surface of the coconut. And then you just drink it through the hole like this. carbohydrates and it's also fresh water so it's safe also you can rip apart the coconut and open it and once you do that you have also another source of energy and fat so right now I have I brought I go to this property and I, I asked the lady for mangoes and she doesn't care she gives me mangoes I might go there again I've been seeing if I can work for a restaurant today or tomorrow while I get some and then I have like my bag in order to get some food. So that's the situation. That being said, I'm in a much better situation than I was in Washington DC and New York in many ways because I'm not unsafe and I'm not under stress and I can sleep well. So my mind is in a much better state, which is good.